All right, so we're going to be talking about how to uh, graph a scatter plot in your calculator and then also find your correlation coefficient uh, slash linear regression line, but we'll talk about that maybe a little later. So let's say I'm trying to figure out to see if there's any correlation between hour of class that I teach and uh, students that I found falling asleep. All right, so I have a bunch of data and I'm going to enter it into my calculator. So where do I go to enter data in? Well, the heart of the calculator, stat, right? So I go to stat, I go right into edit, and go right in there. Now, let's say for first hour, I caught seven people napping. For uh, um, second hour, I caught four people napping. Third hour, five people napping. Fourth hour, zero. Fifth hour, four people were napping. Sixth hour, two people were napping. Seventh hour, were eight, five people napping. And eighth hour was seven people napping. Now, I want to see if there's any correlation to this. You kind of want to see the graph and all that kind of stuff. So where should I go to graph my data? Well, of course, in the blue, stat plot. So I'm going to press second, y equals. And I'm going to make sure I go to number one. Make sure your graph is on. And I'm just going to come down here right to the type. And remember, we've done histograms and box and whiskers. But this time, let's do a scatter plot. All right, so let's pick a scatter plot. And my x values I put into L1. All right, so remember my uh, um, x, all right, is uh, what I would expect for my results, which would be my y or response. Okay. So L1 and L2, and then I'm just going to graph this baby. I'm going to come over and press graph, and you can kind of see uh, a pattern, all right? Now, let's say I want a linear regression line. I want R. What is R? So I'm going to go to stat quick, and I'm going to go and press calculate. And then right down here it says linear regression number 4, or you've got a number 8. And the only difference is that... On number four, they put the slope first, and on number eight, they put the uh, y-intercept first. I prefer four, so I'm going to go to four and press linear regression. Make sure I'm doing linear regression on L1 and L2. All right, and I'm going to calculate, and boom. You might get something like this and say, I'm looking for R. All right, if you are one of these lucky people, then you're screwed. You don't get R. Some of you are going to get R. I'm kidding. All right. There's a way to figure this out. So if I don't get R right away, I'm going to go to catalog down here right above the zero. So I'm going to press second zero, and it's going to go to catalog, and I'm looking for diagnostic on. So I'm going to go all the way down, and if I wanted to, I could press the D. Um, but let's go all the way down to diagnostics, and we want it on. And once you do this, you'll never have to do it again unless you reset your calculator. Um, it's a lot of fun. We're going through all the catalog and looking for diagnostics. Come on, baby. Come on. Diagnostics. I'm probably going to blow right by it because I just hit that arrow way too much. Whoa. Easy. Oh my goodness. All right. Now we got to go back up. <laughs> All right. Uh, diagnostics on. And we want diagnostics. Oh my goodness. All right. Hello. Diagnostics on. Press enter. And now press enter one more time. And diagnostics are on. Like I said, you're done now. Now if you do the same thing, go back to stat and go to calculate. If you go to your linear regression, number four, and press enter, now it's going to calculate. It's going to give you your R squared and R, and there is no, repeat, no correlation to this. Wow. Take a look at that, guys. No correlation according to uh, my data. Slick. All right, that's how you use your calculator for a 3.1.